Hello everyone, today I'm going to be sharing with you how I use getting things done in my bullet journal routine. So the first thing I do for the day is set up my daily header and then write down any appointments and to-do items that I already know I have to do for the day. From here I'm going into my file system to look into what is called my tickler file. This pad of paper in the front is for me to write down any to-dos and then put them into my in folder which I treat as an inbox. Once a week I need to process all of those to-do items and schedule them for a specific date. After that I look for the following dates uh, folder so that I can take out those to-do items and decide on when I'm going to do them. Before I do that, I always move the folder to the back of the file system so that it'll be ready for next month. Now, I'm gonna go through these to-do items and decide if there's something that I can do either right now or if I can schedule it to do for tomorrow. I typically do my planning for the following day, the night before, so that's when I do this. If I do my planning in the morning, then I will look for the, that current day's to-dos and continue on with this system. So these are just some small to-dos that I needed to get do for, I needed to get done for the following day. Things that are not very hard and don't take very long, but they just need to get done. Now I have a couple of to-dos that are a little more time consuming, and I don't really have time to do them tomorrow. As you saw, my schedule for tomorrow was kind of already a little busy. So now what I'm going to do is decide on a date when I can do these or I want to do them by. So I'm just looking in the different dates and there I chose the 15th. So I want to do try to redo those items on the 15th of this month. So those items have been rescheduled and I don't have to worry about future planning them in my bullet journal. Now I'm looking at my inbox. This is um, a master list of things I need to do but because I need them each on an individual sheet of paper, I need to rewrite them on um, my notepad that I keep in here. But first, I'm checking for things that I've already completed off of this list so that way I'm not just putting in some to-do items in there for no reason. Now that I've checked off all of the things on the master list that I've already done, I'm going to start writing each of the to-dos on a separate sheet of paper to then schedule in my tickler file. So I'm going to individually go through each of these items and determine a date that I want to get this done and then I will put each of the pages into that date's corresponding folder. After this, I'm going to look through my next actions and projects lists to see what else I may need to be focusing on this week. So as you can see, I have a next actions list for things that need to get done at my computer and a next actions list for things that need to be done while I'm out running errands. Those are typically like a to buy list. Next, I'm going to look through my projects and I have each project on a separate sheet of paper with different um, details or to do's under them. So some of these projects have actually already gotten done and I'm going to go ahead and start checking off what has been taken care of so that way I know next week or in the beginning of the month that these things are no longer needed to be focused on or worried about getting done because they've already been completed. After that I just continue doing that through each of my projects and I have quite a few sheets there of projects that I want to get done. These are things that I want to eventually get done like setting up a cleaning zone or doing different house projects or even different um, crochet, knitting, or beading projects. Things I want to learn eventually do or things that eventually need to get done. 
if I can do any of these things on my uh, following day's to-do list, I will go ahead and add that when needed or even add it um, on a separate smaller piece of paper and put it in my tickler file for a future date if it's something that can now be acted upon. If not, it all goes back into the folder, filed back away into my file system, and that's it. Now once I'm done using my all my files, I'm going to go ahead and put everything back. I'm going to put the to-do uh, notepad back in the front of my inbox folder. And I have to put the papers back on the steel ring so that they stay together. So give me a moment. But while I'm doing that, I will let you know, once a month or at the beginning of every month, I do look through my tickler file and I look into the next month folder to see if there's anything that needs to get done for this current month because now this current month was next month based on what I had in there from last month. And if there's anything that needs to get done we're in July now, say we come up to July and nothing needs to get done now, but it, some things need to get done in August. I'll leave that in the next month and then I will put the other things in future months. Now that I have everything written down in my bullet journal, I can go ahead and recycle all of these extra papers and now I can go to bed. <laughs> That's all for today. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.